Hi again. This video is a continuation of the lecture on vector analysis. As we recall in our previous video, which has a YouTube title Vector Analysis Part 1, we end up with a discussion on how to add vectors using graphical method. Now, in this video, we will continue discussing vector addition using another method called analytical method. So how to add vectors using analytical method? But before adding vectors using analytical method, let us first define vector in component form. We have to take note that you can write vectors in terms of its magnitude and in terms of its direction. Also, you can write vectors in component form. Say, consider vector A, which is in the first quadrant and makes an angle theta from the positive axis. In two dimensions, there are two components of this vector A. We have the x component, the shadow of our vector A along x, and the y component, the shadow of our vector along y, such that vector A can be written in terms of its component, which is given by this form. Vector A is equal to AX I hat plus AY J hat, where AX the X component of vector A, AY is the Y component of vector A, and I hat J hat are called unit vectors. What is unit vector? Unit vector is a vector that has magnitude of 1. So, for example, if you take the magnitude of i hat and j hat, your answer is 1 and the unit, and there is no unit. So, it has a magnitude of 1 with no units. Its only purpose is to point, that is to describe a direction in space. So, basically, i hat, j hat are just unit vectors with magnitude equal to 1. Also, if we have this vector which is in component form, you can actually get its magnitude. So based from this component form of a vector, you can solve for its magnitude. And that is equal to this expression using trigonometry or using Pythagorean theorem. You can solve for the hypotenuse where the hypotenuse is just the magnitude of that vector and it is equal to the square of this plus the square of this square. So the magnitude is given by this and the direction using TOA tangent, in, tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent then you can solve for the theta equal to tangent inverse of AY over AX. So, the numerator is your y component and the denominator is your x component. You can uh, represent theta in terms of this ay over ax if your theta is measured along x axis. But if your theta is measured along y, then the numerator is the x component and the denominator is your y component. Okay, so again, you can write vector in component form which is equal to this one and then you, from this you can actually solve for magnitude equal to square root of the square of x component plus the y component square. So always once um, you calculate the magnitude, the magnitude is always this one, square root of ax square plus a y square. To generalize this in three dimensions, we can write vector, say vector A in component form equal to this AX I hat plus AY J hat plus AZ K hat. AZ now is the Z component of our vector A. Because in three dimensions, there are three components of our vector. So, we add this term for the Z axis. We have the Z component of our vector A. Such that the magnitude is just the square root of all of AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared. AX, AY are components, AZ are the components of A. And I hat, J hat, K hat 
k hat is for the z axis are called unit vector so say for example in three dimension we have the x axis here the y axis there and then this is my z axis i hat is located at x axis okay it points to the positive x axis if if we have negative i hat then it points to the left next is we have j hat j hat points to the positive y axis and take note the magnitude of this one is one also this is also one so if we have j hat it points to the positive y axis minus j hat points to to the negative y axis okay or it points downward and for k hat it points to the positive z axis for negative k hat it points opposite to or it points to the negative z axis so these are unit vectors the unit or the magnitude is one and it points to the direction say i hat for x j hat for y and k hat for z axis so basically this is the general expression of our vector in component form take note ax ay az are components or these are just numbers ax ay az are just numbers okay say for example if i have vector a which is in the first quadrant and makes an angle 60 degrees from the positive x axis as shown in this uh, figure given is the magnitude equal to 10 meters per second so this length here of uh, the the, uh, the length of this arrow is 10 meters per second makes an angle 60 degrees from the positive x axis so now question is what is a vector a in component form again this is very simple how to get vector a in component form just use the expression of vector a equal to the general expression this in this is in two dimensions so we have this general expression about vector a in component form we have a x i hat plus a y j hat where a x is the x component and y is a y is the y component using trigonometry the a x here this one the adjacent of the angle the ax is just the length of this one of this arrow which is the magnitude of a times the cosine of the angle which is equal to 60 degrees ay is is equal to the opposite of your angle so you will use so and then ay is equal to the hypotenuse which is equal to the magnitude of a times sine of 60 degrees such that you can solve for ax and ay a is 10 meters per second, A and angle is 60, so this one is 10 cosine 60, that is equal to 5. And A, 10 times sine 60 is 8.7. So therefore, our vector A in component form is equal to 5.0 meters per second, this is my AX. And 8.7 meters per second, this is my AY. Again, solve this one. 10 cosine of 60 is 5.0 meters per second. 10 meters per second times sine 60 is 8.7 meters per second. So this is my vector A in component form. Now, consider two vectors, say, in three dimensions. I, I will consider two vectors. I have vector A and vector B. And we have this general expression. AX, I hat plus AYJ hat plus AZK hat, and this B is BX has three components BX, BY, and BZ. Now, how will you going to add two vectors in component form? This is very simple. You just have to add all the X components. I hat, all the Y components, B, J hat, and all the Z components. So you can write vector A plus vector B as equal to the AX bx ax plus bx i hat plus ay plus byj hat and az plus bz k hat and this is now uh, vector addition using analytical methods okay for example if a is 4 meters i hat plus 8 meters j hat minus 13 meters k hat and b is 3 meters i hat plus 7 meters j hat plus 9 meter k hat meters k hat what is a plus b very simple. 
you just have to add this okay add 8 and 7 add minus 13 and 9 so we have 4 plus 3 meters I had 8 plus 7 add the y component and minus 13 plus 9 k okay, hat so basically a plus b is just equal to 7 meters i hat plus 15 meters j hat minus 14 meters k okay, hat how about if you use minus b minus b is just a negative vector of our vector b okay so we have just use the, the minus sign so i have 4 uh, minus 3 meters plus 8 minus 7 plus negative 13 minus 9 k okay, hat you will get a minus b equal to this one how about this letter c take note letter c is you will calculate the magnitude of a plus b and a plus b is equal to this one a plus b is equal to 7 i hat plus 15 j hat minus 4 k hat so therefore you will just have to get the magnitude of that vector so basically, you can write the magnitude of A plus B is just the magnitude of this. And take note, when you say magnitude, always you can calculate the magnitude using the square root of its components. Component, X component, the Y component, and the Z component. Take the square, add them, and then take the square root. You will get the magnitude of A plus B. That is equal to 17 meters so another example is we have this word problem spoiler alert in the recent story of one piece manga monkey the luffy is now at the onigashima island to kick kaido he traveled way back from the place called udon so this is udon then he stopped over in the port called hapu port and then went to Onigashima as shown in this figure. Okay, so this is Udon, Apu Port, and Onigashima Island. Question is what is the shortest distance between Udon and Onigashima? So basically, you will get the shortest distance, this distance between Udon and Onigashima. So you can use vector addition uh, using analytical methods. To solve the shortest distance between Udon and Onigashim. So let us define three vectors here. First vector, this one, this red arrow, we call that one as vector A. Vector A has a magnitude of 12 kilometers. The direction is 20 degrees, minus 20 degrees, or 20 degrees uh, south of east. And then we denote this another vector as vector B. Vector B has magnitude of 9 kilometers and the direction is 60 degrees south of west. And I will denote this, the last vector as R, I call that one as resultant. And this is basically equal to using polygon method. This is basically equal to the vector sum A plus vector b so we know vector a and we know how to write vector a in terms of its components we also know vector b and we know how to calculate vector b in terms of its components and once we have these two vectors adding these two vectors we will get the vector r the vector sum a plus b and once we know the vector r we can solve for the short short test distance between Udon and Onigashima. The shortest distance is just the magnitude of this R. Okay, so how to solve this one? First is write vector A in terms of its component. Also write vector B in terms of its component, then add them, add the two, you will get the resultant R and take the magnitude of R, you will get the shortest distance between these two R's. So, for vector A, we have this. Vector A is in the fourth quadrant. So, you can express this, that into this equation where Ax 
is equal to the magnitude which is equal to 12 kilometers cosine of the angle 20 i hat and the y component is the magnitude 12 sine of the angle 20 degrees j hat the minus sign since your your y component is going downward then there is this minus minus sign okay so since your vector is in the fourth quadrant then the ax is positive and then the ay is negative is negative yes. so there is this negative sign here so calculating this you will get 11.3 calculating this you will get minus 4.10 j hat for vector b vector b is in the third quadrant so we expect that the x component is negative going to the left and the y component is also negative using this you will get the vector b minus the magnitude which is equal to 9 cosine of the angle 60 okay minus 9 sine of the angle 60 j hat so therefore b is equal to this minus 4.5 i hat minus 7.79 j hat so we know now we express now vector a and vector b in terms of its components thus we can solve for the vector r vector r is just the vector sum of a and b and how to add vectors just add all the components and say x component and the y component so therefore the displacement from udon is we have this a plus b add all the x component and add all the y component you will get this so therefore r is equal to 6.8 i hat minus 11.89 j hat and notice R is in the fourth quadrant since the x component is positive and the y component is negative. So therefore, this is my R. It is in the fourth quadrant of our Cartesian plane. So this is now this displacement R, vector R. And to solve for the shortest distance, you will have to calculate the magnitude of this vector R. Okay, this one. And magnitude means the square root of the x component square plus the y component square so therefore the shortest distance between udon and onikashima is equal to 13.7 kilometers so using analytical methods we solve the distance between these two points and that is equal to 13.7 kilometers